In this video, I'm going to talk about Wacom knockoffs. Superficially, they look just like a Wacom tablet, which you can see here. It's 21.5 inches wide. It's an IPS monitor that you can draw on with a stylus pen like you see here. It's pressure sensitive. This particular pen does not use batteries. It's rechargeable. So you plug it in with this little USB charger. The monitor has an adjustable stand so you can tilt it forwards and backwards if you like working flat or you like working at an angle, you have all those options. It comes with an instruction manual and an installation CD. Now, I don't have a disk drive on my computer, so what I had to do is go on their website to find the driver. I couldn't find the driver for this particular model here, but there's a driver for the 19-inch model, and I installed that, and that seemed to work. Now, I did have some issues opening the tablet setting control panel through the control panel in Windows. It wouldn't open, it would crash. But if I opened it from the icon in the notification area, then it would open and I could switch it to the right monitor because when I was using the tablet at first, it was moving the cursor on my big screen here. So it wasn't even using the right screen. And I got it to switch. Now the cursor is way far away from my pen. So this is a calibration issue. Now the problem is if the pen is that far off to begin with, if the calibration wants me to click up here in this top icon, which is how you calibrate it, you'd click one, two, three, four, and so on. If my cursor's way over here, I can't click on that first icon to calibrate it because it won't work. So I can't calibrate this thing. So if I take my mouse and click on a color and I draw, you'll see that my pen is clearly over here, but it's over there. Now that's another thing. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm making this horrible, horrible screeching sound. The surface on this thing is like, it's kind of like an iPad. It's this weird kind of sticky, smooth glass, which you'd think would be fine because it'd be a nice, slick, smooth surface, but it's not. It makes a horrible squeaky noise on the stylus, and it feels weird because your pen kind of occasionally gets stuck. It feels like there's some, like, junk on the screen, and I know that there's not because I just got this thing a couple days ago, and I just peeled the plastic off the screen. I haven't smudged my hand on it or anything. This is how it comes. So, I don't know, maybe there's something you need to do to condition it. it didn't say it in the instructions. So to be perfectly honest, this tablet is something that the company sent me to review, and I was going to create a review for it if I liked it, but with all these problems, I can't recommend it to anybody. If you're gonna ask me, hey, should I spend six or $700 on this thing instead of investing in a Wacom? I'm gonna say no, because I'm a pretty tech savvy guy, and I am so frustrated with this thing. I cannot get it to work. I haven't gotten any, any emails back. I'm sure they will email me back and say, hey, it's probably a driver issue or something, but you know what? If this wasn't sent to me for free and I had spent my hard-earned money ordering this thing online and I was having all these problems, I'd be really irritated. So I'm gonna save you that trouble. This disc, if it does have the drivers on it, doesn't do me any good because I don't have a disc drive and a lot of modern computers don't, believe it or not. If you can't get the right driver from the website, you shouldn't be selling this thing, basically. So. I really hate to, to make a bad review about this. I'm definitely not gonna accept any compensation from them and send this thing right back. This isn't a biased thing. I mean, honestly, when I hooked this thing up, I thought, whoa, this is really cool. You know, the screen's really nice and you know, it would make a nice monitor if I needed another monitor, but I don't because I have plenty. I couldn't get the pen to work and I couldn't get the, the tablet service to work and I couldn't get the drivers to work and you shouldn't have to deal with that. When I got my Wacom Cintiq 24, I plugged it in and it worked. I had drivers, there's plenty of drivers on Wacom's website. Now, whoever else makes these, you know, mono price, I don't care who it is. If it's not Wacom, you're basically just getting a knockoff of a Wacom tablet. And in some cases, for some people, they might be able to get it to work and that's fine. If you wanna save a little bit of money, that's great. But what you have to realize is that Wacom isn't just being greedy and saying, okay, this thing really only costs us $200, but we're gonna sell it for you know, $2,000 and just pocket all the money. That's not the case. They're putting a lot of time and effort into making this thing a quality device. And these other companies that are basically trying to copy that are just cutting corners and going, all right, let's just make this thing as absolutely cheap as possible. I'm not going to endorse something that doesn't work. So I'm sending this thing back. So if you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click that subscribe button if you'd like to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.